Welcome to my channel. I'm here to make you think. I'm here to enlighten you and show you things that I pee. But before I do that, can you please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? And be sure to ring that post notification bell so that you can receive a notification the moment I drop a video. And I thank you in advance. Hey, told you I'll be back. I wasn't playing, but I do want to say this. I want to say, let me turn my volume up, and turn me up, make sure I'm bright enough and everything. Make sure y'all can see me and everything. It's not all low. You know, don't be laughing at my voice. It's deep and this and that. But whatever, I'm a female. You know, Adam's apples here. None of that. But anyway, <laughs> just a little bit of entertainment for you guys. Um. I want to talk about brainwashing a little bit today because it's a lot of that going on, you know, and it's really, um, it's really unfortunate because today we live in a world where we are, there's a lot of more free thinkers and people are thinking on their own now and it's the same thing as me. See, I come from being brainwashed as a child and now that I'm an adult, it's different. I know there's still some deep programming that I need to do. But as far as overstanding, understanding, and understanding what the matrix is, I can see things for what they are. And with that being said, I can't really be brainwashed to the level that I was. Because now I think for myself. See, when you're brainwashed, you don't think for yourself. You think about what was put into your brain. All right? And you have a lot of stuff going on now with this brainwashing. But I'm not sure if you guys are aware of who Nature Boy is. Alicio Bishop. This man started a cult. All right. First, it was called Melanation. It started back maybe five, six years ago, maybe seven years ago. I'm not sure. But it's been going on for a while. And he has many members that have come and go. And people have come over there. People have had children by him. People have come there. And people have had miscarriages and abortions and stuff. And there has been alleged abuse. There's been um, allegations of rape. There have been um, a lot of programming, and this man has been poisoning their minds with stuff now. I'm not going to say he's stupid, because he does know a lot about the Matrix, and he understands that, you know, um, the power that we have, so we don't, we don't need to look on the outside, we don't need to look outside of ourselves uh, for power or anything like that. Like, he understands that, you know, he understands how important it is to eat healthy and stuff like that, but um, as far as his mental as far as you know thinking that he can control these people and want them to bow down to him is different see they're brainwashed you know and it's like brainwashing it doesn't matter like you, somebody could be smart before and then just get brainwashed like you could be sitting there wondering how can these people you know what I'm saying sit up here and deal with this and take this you know instead of believe it's like it's true like how could it happen but it's possible you know what I'm saying because that's how serious uh, programming is see our brains are just like computers, all right? My aunt used to always say, and it's true, our brains are just like computers. And they can be programmed and they can be deprogrammed. Just like if you put a CD-ROM or CD-ROM inside of a computer, you know what I'm saying? It's a, you could you download, you upload, and do whatever. You're putting stuff into the computer, right? And it is, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, it's not brainwashing, but it's being downloaded into your brain, all right? And it has, it stores memory there, all right? And you start um, believing these things and, you know, it starts becoming a reality to you. It doesn't matter um, how far-fetched or bizarre it may sound, you know what I'm saying? To you, your mind is clear, so you're like, man, I wouldn't think like that. But there are people who, they don't know what, they don't know, they don't have any choice but to think like that because their minds have been programmed, see? You can put a program inside a computer and make it work the way you want it to work. All right, you could take a program out of a computer and reprogram it the way you want it to work. That's how our brains are. Our brains are so easily manipulated, and you know, a lot of things, you know, uh, visuals, pictures, you know, what I'm saying traumatic things, and uh, when you're repeating stuff, you know, you see the same thing with repetitiveness. You know, what I'm saying it can make you brainwashed, just like as a child when I was taught about Jesus being real and going to church every Sunday and having to read the Bible and Sunday school and sometimes a five-day club and Bible study and all this dumb shit that was programming to me as a child. See, if you get somebody when they're a kid and start programming and putting stuff in their brains, they start believing it. And it's no different than what we... But I mean, the thing about it is there's, there's good programming and there's bad programming. 
And the what I'm going to explain about this is this. If your programming is coming from people, you know what I'm saying, like talking about fake made up stuff that doesn't really exist, that's programming. If you program into believing, you know what I'm saying, taking, putting stuff into your body that's not um, normal. If you think that's natural, then you know what I'm saying, that's that's um that's something in your mind that you believe that you should have better sense to know that. Uh, otherwise, you gotta watch how I say stuff because they be trying to be slick over here on YouTube. But you know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say is that you know better, all right? So people like you wouldn't see it that way, but other people have heard so many things and they've been listening to people and they're out of fear, they get programmed and start believing certain things. And you know, it's, it's like you can't just can't do nothing about that, you know what I'm saying? Unless you pull back and start thinking for yourself. So you have control over your mind. Even if you've been brainwashed, you have control of your mind. You have to just, you got to start using your third eye. You got to get out of these two eyes. You got to go deep within because this is the matrix. And it's tricky. But if you understand, overstand, and understand what's going on, you cannot be tricked. All right? Now, getting back on Nature Boy, Alicia Bishop. You know, he's been telling these people, you know what I'm saying, that you, you got to bow down to me. You know what I'm saying? I own you. I worship you. know, you worship me. You know what I'm saying? I own your soul and all this type of stuff. And he even has women over there. Um, I'm going to show you a few clips. I just want to let you know, give your heads up of what you're going to see on this video today. You know what I'm saying? There's a few clips of him, you know what I'm saying, having the females smack each other over there. And he's over there talking to them like he's some type of pimp. You know what I'm saying? And they his hoes. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because, like, in their minds, you know, if you see their reactions, you know, they believe it. Now, these women don't look like women who... It's not like they're retarded, you know what I'm saying? When I say retarded, that means, the word retarded means to slow. But I'm going to take it out because none of the words offense. I didn't mean to say retarded. Um, it's not like they're delayed in any type of way. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not like they're delayed. But it appears that way because they're believing in something that like, it's like, excuse me, they've let this man take over their lives to where they don't even, don't even know who they are anymore. They don't even know who they are. There was one girl that was living over there before. You know what I'm saying? Name Velvet. You know what I mean? That's one of his baby's mothers. He had a child with her, a little girl, over there in Carbonation, over there on the, um, in the tropics. About three years ago, she gave birth. And, you know, while she was there, you know, she claimed that he abused her. She was very emaciated looking during the pregnancy. She looked very, very sick. You know, because he had them on this type of diet, you know, called B6 diet, where they weren't really getting all the nutrients they were supposed to get and stuff like that. So it made them, you know what I'm saying, look sick and... You know, the delivery, the baby was healthy, ended up being healthy when it was born, but and the baby looks fine now, very smart, but at the time, during her pregnancy, she went through a lot. That's what I'm saying. Now, a woman knows what she feels in her body, especially when she's pregnant. Now, she knows that she should have been going to a doctor and getting, you know what I'm saying, prenatal care. But instead, she was brainwashed, all right, listening to him. Now, this is somebody who knows better. She's not stupid. She's smart. But you could be a smart dummy, see. She allowed him to let her, you know, deny medical care, never get to the hospital, you know what I'm saying, and get anything um, taken care of as far as, you know, health when you're pregnant. And, you know, when it came time to give birth, give birth to the baby, she had these issues that she didn't know about, like a bladder blockage, like it was a lot of bladder um, urine stuck up there that had to come out. That she didn't know about. She thought she was just having contractions, but it was more pain. And that's just more programming. That's just how serious you can be programmed. You could, as a woman, know that you have to go to the hospital. All right. Take prenatal vitamins. Get some type of care. Get your ultrasounds done. You know what I mean? Take care of yourself. You got to eat right when you're pregnant. You're not just eating for just you. It's you're eating for you and another baby. You know, another person. But her in her brainwashing mind, she felt like that was okay. You know what I'm saying? But in the end, the baby ended up being fine. But I'm just saying, her health didn't look that good. She looks better now that she left. But she knew back then about, you know what I'm saying, being God, all right? The reason why I said it, because, you know, black people, we were here first. So I consider us gods, but not the gods to be worshipped, just the first people on earth, all right? It's not about worship. See, that made up shit they gave you about that sky daddy and worshipping that person, that's all made up, all right? She understood about Jesus not being real and God not being real and, you know what I'm saying, how you the master of your own universe and how this is the matrix and how we've been programmed to believe certain things and how everything is energy and we're all energy, you know what I'm saying, it's not about, you know, us even really being here, like it's all an illusion, like they understood, I thought she understood that, but now that she's left, okay, her mind has went back to more brainwashing, it's like she doesn't know who she is, now she's 
back praising Jesus and, and worshiping the Lord and you know I said all this stupid shit. And the reason why I say that is because how can you go from not knowing or how could you go from truly believing and, and knowing that something doesn't exist to all of a sudden now it exists again? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. That's like believing that Spider-Man is just a superhero character and all of a sudden, you know, Spider-Man is a real person. I want to, of course, in the sense of somebody's playing Spider-Man. I'm talking about there's no person that can do those things. All right, that Spider-Man does. That's that's made up, and it's all special effects. All right, same thing with Jesus. It's a, a book that was written about a person a long time ago by man. All right, this person was paid from the Bible. You know what I mean? They were paid. Um, they're still getting paid off the Bible. And, you know, um, religion has become a business and all this type of stuff. I don't want to jump off subject, but I'm just saying religion is brainwashing. There's a lot of things that can brainwash you. You can brainwash yourself into thinking that, you know what I'm saying, democracy and, and a, a republic thing, you know what I'm saying, like they're, like they're two separate entities, like they don't associate with each other, you know what I'm saying. You could be brainwashed into thinking that, you know, black people think that, you know what I'm saying. This, the reason why I'm giving different examples of brainwashing, it might sound like I'm all over the place, because I'm just giving different examples of brainwashing, all right? How a person can be brainwashed into believing stuff they know is not good, even if it comes to their health. How you can see things for yourself, see how your life never changes no matter who's in office in this country. But you're still programmed to believe if you're black, you better be a Democrat, and Democrats are good. Like, stop thinking that. Because if you look into history, you'll find who created the um, Democratic Party, and it was the KKK. And there were actually black people who created the Republican Party, but black people are programmed and brainwashed into thinking that they have to be in a democracy. You know what I'm saying? When there is none, none of that in this country. But even though they can see it, you know what I'm saying? To overstand it, they still brainwash in the sense of, I don't want to deal with it. I still got to be like other people. See, brainwashing is just very, it's just that's how serious brainwashing is. It's very, very controlling. It's a terrible thing, and I really, really hate it. I hate it for people. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to share a few clips, just a couple of clips. I'm going to give you an example of the brainwashing and programming. You can see how somebody can manipulate you. I'm going to give you an example of uh, Alicia Bishop, all right? Check this clip out. You weren't grateful. That's why you're about to lose your spot. When you lack gratitude, you lose what you have. And you have lacked gratitude. And that's why you're on the way out. You're ungrateful, huh? Don't nobody owe you shit. Don't nobody owe you shit, Malia. You got to work in real life. You're not that beautiful. That nigga gonna bag on you. Abuse. You're not that bad. You're just not. I'm mean, gonna be all the way honest with you. A nigga ain't gonna bag on you the way I'm doing. A nigga ain't gonna take care of you like I'm. You gonna work at Walmart, bitch. You gonna be some late night pussy. Or a nigga, you might get a relationship with a broke nigga. But ain't nobody about to bag on you. You're not that bad, Malia. You're really not that bad. You're really not that bad. I'm really treating you in, like your position you're in. It's for a bad bitch. It's for a bitch that's post. That's the real deal, bitch. You a fit. You literally a model for her position. And that's a whole fucking fact. So stop playing like you need special attention and act like the rest of these hoes and be grateful that you're here because they're very grateful. See the attitude on face. What? Say, ooh, that was a good one. Let's make some sense back into it. That was a good one, so. <laughs> that was a good one. Slap a bitch back to sense. Like, stop wasting our fucking time making this shit about you, ho. This about me. Rub my motherfucking legs and my toes and, and suck on my toes. Bitch, fuck you. And you can say it's abuse, but please leave. Can she please just leave me alone then? It's abuse, but she won't leave. It's because, oh, it's mind control. But bitch, a bitch, it ain't that much mind control in the world. Bitch, you doing it to yourself at this point. If a bitch smack me, I'm gone. <laughs> if, you, if you let a bitch smack you, you deserve to get smacked. Right? Right? He right, right. but he's still brainwashing. Ain't doing shit to you but yourself. Because bitch keeps smacking me, I'm out. See how you try to manipulate the shit. I'm gone. See, that's what you call manipulation right there. You see what I'm saying? They're programming. Now, this woman, though, good and well, she wouldn't allow that outside of this place. If she never went there, she wouldn't just allow somebody to smack her. That's not how she was. They come here in love with this man and want to come here because he makes it look good on camera, although they should know better. But once they get there, they find out that he's not the person they thought he was. But, you know, later it's too late because he's been programmed. He wants them to have his mind. 
just go look up some nature boy videos check look up carbonation you can go back from you know maybe five six years you can start there you can start how now he's in jail as a matter of fact right now he's in jail right now you know what I'm saying he was arrested uh maybe two weeks ago or something like that and they came the FBI raided the house and uh got his ass you know what I mean because he's a cult leader and he got her, you know, the women over there smacking, you know what I'm saying, the other women. Now, they know they wouldn't do that. Now, why wouldn't she smack her back? Now, that's not normal. Her brain is so gone, and she want to have his mind that she feels like she should be chastised. Now, she doesn't feel that way about herself, but he's telling her that's what she is, and she believe it. And she knows she wanted to smack the shit out of that girl. That's why she said, you know, that was a good one, you know. Snap, smack some sense into me. No, somebody need to smack some sense into you, but this should be yourself, not somebody else, all right? So just go look up nature. And you'll see how sick-minded he is. And, uh, you know what I mean? Give me your reaction. You know, so leave a comment down below. And, you know, let me know what y'all feel about this video. Because I'm just saying, there's more. There's a hit, there's a lot of clips you can go check out. But this is one I want to show you where, you know, the woman, this right here, this girl name is Malia, who left her child behind. A lot of these women left their children behind, too. Some of the women left their kids behind. The woman that smacked her had a son over there. You know what I'm saying? With another gentleman. And they want to raise their kids to... Worship and be servants to Nature Boy's children. That's what the father truth said. I'll come with another video about them. It's going to be doing some reaction videos because one of my subscribers gave me a good idea about doing some reaction videos in a certain, you know. That's what I'm going to do. I do react, but it's going to be this going to be in a different way. Like, she gave me an idea, and I'm going to roll with that. And I appreciate you. You know who you are. And, um, you know, thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate y'all. And I'm sorry I took a while to do a video, but if y'all are here, thank you. So, could y'all leave a comment down below, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel if you're not, please. You should be not obligated. We would appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? And you could also check out my last video that I did about Will Smith. Yeah, it's strange, you know. You'll see the videos I do, um, it's down and right the whole lot. I'm not like everybody else. I just got my own mind, I think, for myself. I appreciate people like that. Thank y'all, my coffee drinkers. Love y'all.